Hello, this is Yelena Ozegovich from the Kansas City, Kansas Community College Center for Teaching Excellence. And the purpose of this brief video is to show you how to run a course performance report for academic assessment in Blackboard. So the course performance report requires that alignments to the course learning outcomes be previously added to exams or quizzes or assignments or papers. So there's another video showing you how to add those alignments. After you've add, added those alignments and completed the grading for those exams or quizzes or assignments, um, you can run a course performance report. But it's important to remember that you need at least one day before finishing the grading or adding an alignment and running a report. And that's because every night at 2 a.m., Blackboard kind of connects those alignments to the actual grades. So if you run it, if you do the grading on one day, you have to wait until the next day after 2 a.m. to run the report. So I'm gonna show you how to run that course performance report. And then I'm gonna just briefly mention two other reports that you might find interesting. The first one is called the course coverage report. And that's a report where you can see and make sure that all your course learning outcomes are actually aligned and connected to either an assignment or exam or a test question or, or anything like that. The other report that might be of interest to you is called a goal performance report. And that is a report that gives you data by the individual student performance in the class. So each student has their own goal performance report. And that report actually students can run and have access to themselves. It's automatically comes in every Blackboard um, course shell under course reports that the students can run their own goal performance report as can the instructor. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now how to run these reports. I'm gonna go to Blackboard. Here I am in a Blackboard course, um, and this is just a course from last semester. I'm gonna scroll down here a little bit, and I'm gonna show you where this is in the control panel. So here's the control panel for Blackboard. In order to run a course performance report, you go to Evaluation, you click on Course Reports, and there's two reports that you might find of interest. The first one, as I mentioned, was the course coverage report. And that just makes sure that you, your, all your alignments are actually connected to something. And then the one that we're gonna um, focus on and talk about is the co course performance report. And this gives you a view of your entire course's performance on those course learning outcomes. Okay, so see where that gray Chevron is. I'm gonna click on that and click run. And here, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. It's very important that you determine the goal set. Some of you might be teaching general education courses and you've added an alignment to one of our institutional learning outcomes. And so if that's the case and you're wanting to run your course learning outcome report, you need to go to this drop down menu and make sure that you select the discipline um, for whatever the course learning outcomes are in. So this is a Psychology 101 course. The discipline and the goal set that I wanna run the report on is the psychology learning outcomes. So you also set the target performance level. Standard is a 70, but if maybe you're in health professions, you might wanna set it a little bit higher. Then you click Submit. And as this is kind of waiting to run, some things that you might want to consider is if this is a gateway course or a course that a lot of um, people may take early in their career, you may have lower scores on their course performance, and that's totally typical and standard. Or if it's a um, course that's later on in a program, you may have a lot higher scores because you figure that's the students who are have persisted to that point. Now, typically you would um, download the report. I'm not gonna do that right now because when you do download a report, it's gonna show student names and identifying information. So obviously I don't wanna do that. So I've kind of cut and pasted what this report looks like. 
um, removing, of course, the student information. So as I said, this is a Psychology 101 course. It's a gateway course. I established a 70% criteria. Um, and you can see most of my information here comes from various assignments or tests. Um, and then as I scroll down, these are the nine learning outcomes that are the course learning outcomes for Psychology 101. And this is a KBOR aligned course, meaning that any state institution in the state of Kansas uses the same nine learning outcomes for Psychology 101. It's KBOR aligned. That also means we cannot change them. So here's then what it's telling me in terms of performance of these nine outcomes. And you can see some my students did better on and some they didn't do as well on. So those that they didn't do as well on, I might want to rethink. Um, first, I might want to look at, OK, is was there only one assignment or two assignments or test questions or um, you know, maybe I need to add some more assignments on this topic um, to make sure that they're getting it. Um, and, and really, that's what you kind of look at is what do my students tend to get and what are they still struggling with? So then the next time you teach the class, you can say, OK, I want to focus more on this or I don't want to focus more on this. So last couple things I wanted to show you, as I mentioned, um, there is a way to see student performance at an individual level. And as the instructor, you do that by going to course tools and you scroll down and there's a goal performance um, tool. I'm not going to click on it because it'll give you student names. Um, and then the other thing, as I mentioned, students automatically can run all these reports. If they click on student reports, these are the, they can look at their activity compared to others in the course and they can look at their goal performance. Um, so how they do on the outcomes in comparison to their peers. So if, any, if you have any other questions about this, please feel free to contact the Center for Teaching Excellence. Thank you.